What's up, YouTubers? I'm Ryan Hanson one and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Fast and Dwarf for the Nintendo GameCube. In the last episode, uh, we got to the championship title of the Glitz Pits. So in this episode, well, we did hear some mysterious voices in the vents. So we are going to be getting to the bottom of this and finish up this chapter once and for all. So let's take out Snowfall and Flutter Across. And Super Hammer this. And go inside. We're in the air duct, right? Where does it lead? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's in perfect condition, as usual. Yep, long as I got that baby working for me, this old mod ain't never gonna get weak. But I'm gonna have to watch my tootsies here for a little bit. First, I let that King K idiot walk in on me like I w when I was with that. And now I can't shake off the feeling that Jolene and Gonzalez are on to me. Well, I guess I better I'll burn that bridge when the time comes. I'll just disappear him. Yep, just like I did with them others. Like I did to Prince Mush, the first champ. That voice, it's Grubba. So he's behind all those missing fighters. I better lock this room tighter than in or... Uh, a peanut butter jar at a squirrel convention. I'll, uh, and I'll just go on ahead and hide the paper laden to that in the desk drawer. There we go. You know what, though? Since I'm thinking aloud here, good fighters ain't nothing to mess with. Even Rockhawk lost to Gonzalez. This new champ might have to disappear pretty soon, for my sake. Oh, I'm in control. <laughs> Sorry. Then if we smash this down with our super hammer, and I think he's gone. Let's check out the desk drawer of his. Well, I don't see why not. Whoa, bingo! I bet that's the paper old grub ahead and check it out, Mario. Yeah, a machine out of the ring using a crystal star? These are blueprints. I don't know uh, what the rest of this nerd talk says, but I think the crystal star powers it. If this paper's right, then the machine can suck the power out of people. Yuck. Oh, crud. You think that King K and Bandy Annie got all drained or something? Uh-oh. Great Calvin Goblets! How tarnation did you get in here, son? Well, slap me in and call me a sassafras. You're staring at my secret paper, too. Shut up. You make me sick. Why'd you train King K and Bandy Andy, huh? Whoa, Nelly. This ain't good. After him, Gonzalez. Just call him Mario. I mean, come on. We're almost done with this chapter. Just call him Mario already. Anyway, so the ring's open to us, but I'm going to get Goombella out, just because I think she's better for this battle. Yep, that's right. Battle. I said battle. That's right. Blocking out CV. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the big point plot twist I was trying to make. I gotta say, uh, you all are a couple sack-jawed idiots sniffing around my business. Now you know my big secret, I'm afraid you're gonna have to take a little old dirt nap. And yep, that is right. Those blueprints weren't lying. He has a machine with the real crystal star. Look, Mario up there! The real crystal star- Stop taking the words out of my mouth, Goombella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you like machine? Pretty dang nice, huh? Yep, I've been sucking power from fighters with this baby. <gasps> Slurp. You're darn tootin'. And you know why? Because it keeps my body forever young, son. Using Curse to start to look good? Totally in vain. You're gonna pay for that. Oh, just shut your traps now. I'll use my Crystal Star however I dang please. Check this out. <laughs> Muscle up! Oh boy, here we go. Macho Grubba! Whoa, Grubba got huge! Hooey, I'm gonna smoosh you guys into guacamole and snack on your energy too! 
And we get probably my favorite song in the game for the battle theme. Macho! I'm a powerhouse now, you pestering little pieces of prairie like piffle. So long I have this here machine, my body will be rough, tough, and ultra buff. Okay, Mario, I've just had about enough of this guy's yapping. Let's take him down. Alright, so this music is really well done. That plus the static in the background, it's just a very atmospheric, well done fight. Like... Man, the music is just so atmospheric. I'll let you listen to it for a little bit. Alright, so now basically the main gimmick of this fight is Grubba has a lot of, like, stat upgrades. That's basically most of his attacks, so you uh, like charge up and have like more power and defense and stuff like that, and then he'll start attacking you. And I'm gonna go ahead and do another multi bonk. And yeah, he has 60 HP, but he's already down by 25. Keep on scrapping, son. Of course, it ain't gonna do you much good in the end. And. His defense increased. And now he's gonna finally attack us. And, woo, that kinda hurts. But no big deal. Uh, um, we can't use the power bounce because, you know, um, um, he has too much defense, but I think Earth Tremor works against that. And I did it perfectly this time! Yay! And just six damage, unfortunately. Um, I don't think he can do any damage, so I'll just appeal and get more star power. But I don't think I'm gonna be using the Earth Tremor again, so it doesn't really matter. Not too shabby, Gonzalez. You got a showmanship, and that's gold in this biz. But here, but this here battle is just getting started. It's time I show you some real moves. Back in the day, I had so many rump kicking moves, they m had to make some illegal. And he gets bigger. And then my TV glitches out again. And he's attacking right now. So his power's increased. And no! Oh, I didn't get enough time to react to that because, like, I just fixed my TV. And why is there a bomb going off in the audience? Like, do you guys see that? There's, like, a bomb fuse going on. Like, like it's right in the center. Whatever, um, let's do one more power bounce. And... Um... I think I'll just use a honey syrup. So, yeah, um... You have enough for Nerf Chimmer? Okay, um... Dodgy, some attacks will automatically be dodged... Oh, come on. Oh, man, he really hurts. Alright, so it only lasts for one turn, so... I guess just to be safe, we'll do normal jumps and stuff. And... No, 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 I meant... To head bonk. I guess I could tattle on him, but like... Yeah, I, he's almost done. Arg! I ain't finished yet, Gonzalez. Ain't over till it's over. That's the way it goes in combat sports, son. Now, let me tell you something. Fortune's gonna smile on me in the end, punk. And... Uh, more chances to attack, yeah. But his dodginess is gone, so, um, let's go ahead and do a multi-bonk. And, um, yes, I have enough to do an Earth Tremor. Alright, let's do it. Okay, I messed up, but not too big of a deal, because he's almost done anyway, so... Um... Dang it! Like, right when, uh, like, I was almost done with him, and I said I was almost done... And then my TV blacks out again. It must not be connected very well. And... Oh. Uh... Dang it! Dang it! I did that. 
that was a thing. Um, it's got his defense increased. Um, can I do anything like this? Ah, okay. Um, I'll just defend. Uh. Dang it! I'm almost dead. Come on. Come on. Dang it, missed. Come on. Don't miss! Uh. Don't. Goombella is dead. Oh my gosh, okay, um, all punies ran out. A bomb blew up my audience! What?! I did not know that could happen! Well, you learn something new every day. But he's dead. Yay, he's dead. And we get 30 star points. No, how'd this happen? How could Perfect Bug, like mine, lose to such a chub? Oh, great. Gonzalez, great fight. Their son, great fight. Urgh. Mr. Champion? No, I mean, Mario. Please allow me to offer my earnest thanks for defeating that foul grubber. Jolene! I really have to apologize. I'm so sorry to get you involved. But you must understand, had to learn the truth uh, this arena by any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once, by the name of Mush. He'd done anything for me. Our family was always poor, so he became a fighter here to support all of us. But he suddenly went missing one day. Our family was, uh, in... Con... Ah, whatever. I suspected foul play, so I got hired as the manager and investigated it in secret. As long as I looked for clues about my brother, I accidentally saw uh, Mr. Grumb, uh, transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope. And then you appeared. So I decided to secretly guide you. So you're the mysterious ex who's sending us the me emails. Correct. It was me. Once I saw you fight, I knew you were the only one who could challenge Grubba. Now, sir. No, not sir. Grubba. I want answers right now. What'd you do my with my precious little brother? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The first champion, Prince Mush. Er, Prince Mush, he he discovered the secret of my power sucking machine. I had to um, I had him disappear. Any which way you look at it, he ain't around these parts no more. No I suspected as much. Oh, poor sweet mush. No, she came off all uppity, but she was just a girl who loved her brother. Whoa, Mario, check it out! The Crystal Star! And there he is! Whoa, is this... Am I back in the Glitz Pits? Mush! Oh, is that really you, sis? What are you doing here? I... I was... I was just... There, there, Mush. It's okay. It's all over. Finally. Wow, the Crystal Star can do that?! Now, Mario, the Crystal Star is yours. And... It just comes out in the machine like that. Wow, for real? We could just take it? It's better that you have it, so it's n that nothing like this will ever happen again. Well, you heard of Mario, grab it! You got a crystal star, and we learned power lift, yeah. Nice step up from the clock out move we got. I may show off in a bonus episode, but like, I don't think I'm going to show off clock out in the main playthrough, because I really don't like it. It's stupid TV. And it's happening more usual than... It's happening more than usual this time. Glitzville's seemingly underside was a dark, dangerous place to seem... With the help of the lovely Miss Jolene, Mario revealed Grubba's true identity and acquired the third Crystal Star by defeating the monstrous Macho Grubba. Grubba had used the power on the Crystal Star to run his power-draining machine. 
What other hidden powers might these strange mystical items possess? And no. Cause saving is for wimps! Beldum, tell me, what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character. Well, yes, sorry, but only because he's tougher than we thought at first. You understand that we x nots must open the door first, do you not? Wee <laughs> Well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sir. Wee! <laughs> Let's uh, uh, away, my lovely is Merlin, Vivian. Uh, gah. Aw, so cute. Mm, no doubt about it, I'm officially bored. Those awful x things, uh, haven't been back to ask about the map. I wonder, is it safe? Oh my, that must be Tech again. And as per usual, we're gonna go see Tech in a pretty cool peach interlude. In between each chapter, that, that that's just per usual. I mean, you play as Peach in the original Paper Mario, so why not here? And it worked really well. Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to go to where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You... You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true, but you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain the soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly. Alright, fine, I guess. Well, so what do you want me to ask this Grotus? I will tell you. What in the world is Tech thinking? I mean, honestly, he sure is a weird computer. And... Oh, is the elevator he wanted me to go in? And we get to explore further in the base. Man, that, like, exploration is one of my favorite things to do in video games, which is why one of the many reasons The Legend of Zelda is one of my favorite video game series. My second favorite one, just barely behind Mario. Anyway, we have to wait for this x not to pass. Now, Princess Peach... It's the room, the green lamp, very near. And, yep, we go off to this room right here. Please change here, quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in that locker. Be in a locker. Hmm, oh, is this the uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. Now let's go to the changing room. Yep, yeah, Princess P Urgh, Oof! I don't know about this. It's awfully tight and it kind of smells a bit. Yeah. Phew, who knows, but I got into it. Uh, I can barely breathe, though. Yep. Yeah, Peach takes off her clothes a lot. Good thing it's censored. Otherwise, this game would be rated M. <laughs> anyway, we can talk to x Nuts. Hey, slacker, what part of do not leave your post don't you understand, huh? Hmm, what? Come again? Oh, are you on your break? Well, fine, carry on. Anyway, if we go over here... We can meet Grotus. 
TV's acting up again. Stupid TV. <sighs> Excuse me, Sir Grotus? Yes, what is it? Speak. Er, well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Hmm, something is wrong with your voice, x naught Perhaps I have a throat lozenge? No, well, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach. I have no interest in what the woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly. You understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, why in the world are we keeping her then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impudent worm. Concentrate on getting the legendary treasure. That is all I require of you. We x need that treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world? Legendary treasure? What are you blathering, blathering about now? Hmm, something is odd about you. No, no, nothing odd. Oh, so, Roger, or whatever, please excuse me. Ultimate fail. Ooh, that was very unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world, talk about creepy. I wonder if it has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars. I don't know, Peach, but let's change. Off with this thing. Yeah, make sure you change behind the curtain. Ew, good old pink dress. My favorite. Why would I ever wear anything different? Better get back quickly. And if we go through the door... We automatically end up back here. Tech, you terrible machine! It's your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course. After all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world? How could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody does. Uh, nobody likes everything about the world. But I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, but there is also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer in the world? When what's with this treasure? What's this treasure? I am afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow that. Please use my communicator. <clears throat> Sending it this instant. The message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach. You have a busy day. Go back. Oh, okay. And she doesn't say anything. Good night, Princess Peach. Man, this game's starting to get pretty deep. In a Mario game, for crying out loud. The, that thing's humongous! Everybody hide now, save yourselves! Yep, you know who it is. Stupid cheating Mario! Who would have thought that fool would be in Glitzville? Did you say something, your rudeness? Uh, no, nothing at all, as far as you know. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those were some punies. One of them should know about the Crystal Star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find one of them and get the info we need. Let's burn down the tree! Just kidding. And... Burn him down. Alright. Be gone! You're one of them, aren't you? One of those evildoers. You want our crystal star. Ha! See? I knew it. This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is. Tell us. How rude! Ugly thing? How dare you, you wretched crone? I am the pu great puny elder. Eep! My heart! Don't startle me like that. I'm too old for this stuff. It's Hag versus Hod. Awesome! Ahem, um, yes, Lord Bowser? Uh, you look as you're dying to say something. Uh, nope, nothing. 
Let's move on, shall we? You, Elder Hag thing, uh, where's this crystal star? And don't try pulling a rank again. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. Hmm, <laughs> Hag thing? Honestly, in any case, you're too late. The crystal star is gone. Huh? What? That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to mustachioed man named Martio. He said he was collecting the legendary treasures to rescue some princess. Why did he call her Princess Pinch? Yep, he was off to save that lucky lass. It's Mario, not Martio, and it's not Princess Pinch. Her name is Princess Peach. But your senility uh, is beside the point. Your prin the princess and the treasures must be connected. Mario's trying to get it all. Treasures, princesses. Does his greed never end? That jackal! Both Princess Peach and the Crystal Star belong to me! Me! If I find him, I'm going uh, to uh, finish him off once and for all. I swear it! And... No saving is for wimps! Okay, that joke's starting to get old. So you must leave? I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the Crystal Stars. Good luck. Gonzalez, I want to tell you, Rockhawk ain't gonna fight dirty in anymore. I'm gonna hit the weights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. And I'm never, ever gonna lose again. Remember, when life rocks you, rock back! Listen, G-Money, thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I ever met, and if you ever need it, I got your back. Me? I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby. And it's all thanks to you, dog. You're my boy, Mario. Now that Krub is uh, out of the picture, I'm gonna take over running the Lit Spitz. If you haven't decided to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your uh, spot open. You have tons of fans, and they absolutely love it if you make a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? Tr and travel safe. And with that, we... Uh, yes, we have three crystal stars now. We're rolling. Let's head back to Rogueport, Mario. If you call rolling like a ton of delays in the Let's Plays. <laughs> anyway, I think we've been going on for long enough, so uh, I think we're going to end things off here. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. And next time on Paper Mario Thousand Your Door, we will be returning to Rogueport and getting the next crystal star location. So until then, I've been Ryan to one See you guys next time. Bye-bye.